Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata Consulting. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question many of us have had for the last couple months, and that is, should I switch to Marketing Automation 2.0? Whether you're a new user or you've been using Zoho campaigns now for a while and just are unsure of whether or not to make the switch, in this video, I'm going to cover whether you should or shouldn't, some pros and cons, and some key differences between the two products. Before I jump in though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. All right, so without wasting any time, let's go ahead and answer that question. Should I switch to Marketing Automation 2.0? And well, the answer is yes and no. If you're a new user to Zoho and you haven't set up Zoho campaigns yet, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, switch, use Marketing Automation 2.0. It has pretty much all of the same features that Zoho Campaigns has. It's got a uh, built-in to-do task board, some other features I'll go over in a minute, but it essentially, after some testing, can do everything Zoho Campaigns can do. Now, if you're an existing user of Zoho Campaigns and you've got you know plenty of data and templates and things built out in Zoho Campaigns, I'm going to say no. Don't switch to Marketing Automation 2.0. There just isn't enough there that you can't already do with the other applications by themselves that marketing automation kind of has built in with it that justifies the switch. There's no migration tool. There's no easy way to move everything over. And unfortunately, you cannot have both on at the same time. You're forced to shut off Zoho campaigns in order to use marketing automation. With this being said, I just, I, after testing it, I cannot see enough there to justify the switch to Marketing Automation 2.0. Maybe some of these key features that I'm going to go over in a second might change your mind, but for now, that's just my professional opinion after testing the product out thoroughly for the last couple of months. Without wasting any time, let's go ahead and jump into what are some of those key features that separate it from Zoho campaigns. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into some key feature differences between Zoho campaigns and marketing automation. I'm just going to briefly touch on some of these sections on the left. If you're looking for a more full product overview, uh, be sure to go to club.zenata and I'm going to be doing a full webinar on marketing automation next month, which will cover every section in much more detail. So to get started, let's go ahead and look at the dashboard. So we can go ahead and see they've kind of made a way for you to set up different stages of the different sales process of your marketing attribution campaigns. You can do this in, you can do this in CRM. So there isn't really a need to have this dashboard. It's great that it's built inside of marketing automation, but I'm a big fan of one source of truth for all of your data to look at that, and that should be CRM. Great feature to have, but I think it should just be set up in CRM. So new feature that doesn't exist inside of campaigns, and here you can go ahead and see under contacts, you can set up the qualification and attribution settings, but it's not really needed. I mean, it can be done in CRM. And as you can see, everything else, you know, context dashboard, view contacts, the dashboard's different than campaigns, but the list and the segments and the topic management is all the same as campaigns. So next, let's move on to lead generation. Uh, this is basically just forms. It's a, a If you're not tech savvy and you're not very good at getting stuff on your website, Zoho Marketing Automation, when you first activate it, basically gives you the Zoho PageSense tracking code that you put on your website, and then it can automatically make a pop-up form pop up um, or a sign-up form. You can create a custom landing page. You can do all of this already, though, with Zoho Forms. It's cool the data is coming in here, but you want the CRM as that point of truth. So you'd probably want to be using a Zoho form, mapping everything over to your CRM, and then using segments and lists and setting the different you know field criteria set up through CRM coming into marketing automation or Zoho campaigns. Cool feature add to have, but not, not really necessary. Uh, next, you have journeys. And journeys are essentially workflows that were inside Zoho campaigns. So I went ahead and just created a test. One nice thing though, this is this is a win for marketing automation over Zoho campaigns. You can see there's more triggers here. The processes are much cleaner. And I believe there's a couple more actions here. If not, they're all the, all the same maybe. The, the point is though, is this builder is much like Zoho Flow. It's very clean. It's easy to use the drag and drop builder it's a much nicer interface. Like things just move over. If you use Zoho marketing or Zoho campaigns, 
you know how not clean and frustrating the workflow builder can be. So this this is a win. I definitely will say that this is much better than the workflow builder inside of Zoho campaigns. And you also have some cool features since it can track page visits or if you have a shopping cart, you can do a couple more things inside this workflow builder that you couldn't do inside of Zoho campaigns. There is a couple ways to go around it with fields inside the CRM but this is much cleaner. So if this is something you're going to be using a lot as far as page visits or abandoned carts, I would say marketing automation then is a win. And I went ahead and tested this and it does work. If that's something you're looking for, then I would recommend switching to marketing automation simply for this builder for workflows. Next, let's go ahead and jump into the marketing planner. This is essentially just a way you could go ahead and create a Kanban board or planner for your marketing plans. I don't know if I would do it in here with activities. Like I said, I'm a big fan of everything existing inside of Zoho CRM for task, but they have something built inside of marketing automation. Maybe you don't want your marketing team inside of the CRM. In this case, this marketing planner is something that doesn't exist inside of Zoho campaigns. And I would highly recommend your team using it if that's what you wanted to do. However, I did want to point out though, there are tools built in with Zoho, like Zoho To Do, formerly known as Zoho Task. So you could use this board too and share it with your team to create tasks. And it's similar to the Kanban board inside of marketing automation. Next, one thing that will throw you off a little bit is the whole process of sending out marketing campaigns. The process is going to be a little different, but as you can see that so I make one right now. The UI is different, the process is different, but the UI and everything is is very clean. Yeah, I gotta give my hats off to marketing automation on this one as well. Um, you, you can go ahead and do everything that you could in Zoho campaigns, as far as sending a solo campaign, set an action response, email, et cetera, click to open. You can do it all inside of marketing automation. It just is smoother but as far as adding content goes you know the layout looks nice it acts faster but if we go ahead and choose a build your own um i think we have to choose a blank template yeah the email builder though is exactly the same I, i've tested it it works exactly the same as zoho campaigns and i know for many of us this was one of the more frustrating parts of zoho campaigns you know the email builder is just a little outdated and uh, can cause headaches sometimes and unfortunately the builder is exactly the same so no reason to switch there um, you can connect your social campaigns and create a social campaign, something you can't do in marketing automation. However, I would just do it inside of Zoho Social. It's a very robust tool and you have everything you have in here and more inside of Zoho Social. Lastly, you can do SMS, which you could also do inside of Zoho campaigns. And then lastly, you've got your engagement pop-ups, which was a lead generation. So you can do some engagement pop-ups on a website, something you can't do inside of Zoho campaigns, but you can basically make a quick, easy way for a pop-up to appear on one of your landing pages. This feature is cool. I mean, you can do it if you're tech savvy with your, you know, your website, you can also create a pop-up on your website, but this feature is nice to have, and I'll give my hats off to marketing automation on this one. Lastly, website analytics. They essentially just put Zoho PageSense, a dummied down version of it inside of marketing automation. You can link some stuff to your, your campaigns, but overall, you know, you've got PageSense here. And if you wanted to set some targets or, or look at some numbers, I would tie everything into analytics in your CRM and manage everything there. Back to my one uh, point of truth which would be Zoho CRM. And you can set goals, which you can't do, and smart URLs, um, which is just a shortened version of your website, but you can go ahead and also do that inside of Zoho PageSense. Lastly, library, the only thing that's slightly different is you have this Giphy library where you can go ahead and look at all these GIFs or GIFs, however you want to call them. But like the My Files, every, everything's the same as the campaigns. You know, kind of running through, there is a couple winners. The main one being the Journey Builder is much nicer 
and the engagement pop-up feature is very slick as well. So with that being said, if any of those key features, you know, stand out to you that make it worth switching, um, that's a quick rundown of the key differences between Marketing Automation 2.0 and Zoho Campaigns. Now let's go ahead and jump into some pros and some cons. Let's go ahead and start with some pros. As I just mentioned, Journeys is a much better workflow feature. It can trigger actions based on page visits or abandoned cart. The builder itself is clean. It's just got more functionality and it's just well-made. Uh, the UI for marketing automation is very clean as well. So the clean UI is definitely a pro and the engagement pop-up feature built into marketing automation is great. Some cons, you know, the biggest one I have initially is why can't we use both? Why can't we turn on Zoho campaigns and marketing automation and let users kind of test both? And the other big con is a lot of these new features built into marketing automation are just slimmed down versions of, you know, other Zoho applications that you probably already have access to because most of us are using Zoho One. So like Zoho Social, Zoho Forms, Zoho Page Sense, Zoho Landing Pages, all of these products you probably have access to, you probably have set up already. You get more in those apps than you do in marketing automation. And then lastly, the controls, I didn't really go into the settings, but you have more control in Zoho campaigns and more settings features that you have access to than you do inside of marketing automation. I don't know if some of those settings are coming soon or if they just felt like there wasn't a need for them, but there's, uh, I'd say probably at least a dozen settings that are available in Zoho campaigns that are not available inside of Zoho marketing automation. So there's my down and dirty, uh, quick and dirty uh, run through of uh, Zoho marketing automation um, and whether or not you should switch at the end of the day. If you are able to test both, feel free to try to, you know, come up with your own conclusion, whether you like it or not. Be very curious for those of you that do switch um, to leave your comments in the comments section below. And let me know your thoughts on the product. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget that we are going to be doing a full product overview of Zoho Marketing Automation in January. Um, if you're coming to this video after the fact, uh, it will be in the description below if it is past January 2024. Uh, until next time, have a wonderful day.